So, game crashes in Fortnite can be really frustrating. If you've been experiencing your Fortnite crashing and freezing in Chapter 5 Season 4, I have 10 methods you can try to stop your game from crashing anymore. Now, before we start, a uh, like and subscribe will tremendously help out the channel. And now, let's get into it. So, the first fix I have for you guys is to check system requirements for Fortnite. Ensure that your PC meets the minimum system requirements for Fortnite because if they don't, that is a clear reason why you're crashing. You can find these requirements on Fortnite's page about spec requirements. Next up is going to be updating your graphics driver and Windows. For NVIDIA, use GeForce Experience or the NVIDIA app and for AMD, use Radeon software. You should be updating them every season or when the latest one is available. First, you want to open the NVIDIA app and then on the left, go to the Drivers tab, click on the Check for Updates button. The NVIDIA app will scan for the latest drivers for your GPU. If a new driver is available, you'll see an option to download it. Click on the Download button. Once the download is complete, click on Express Installation. Now your GPU drivers are updated. To update your Windows, click the Windows key and open the Settings. And once you're there, go to the bottom left and click Windows Update. Then you'd want to click on Check for Updates. This will fix any and all bugs and glitches within Windows and might fix crashes. The next fix is to verify game files. Open up the Epic Games Launcher. Once you're there, go to your library, then click on the three dots next to Fortnite and click Verify. What verifying does is this will check for any corrupted files and updated files and repair them. Now tip number five, a quick tip is to check your temperatures. Ensure your PC is well ventilated. Overheating can cause crashes and frame drops. Clean out dust from the fans and reapply new thermal paste in your CPU. Just make sure you keep your PC cool to prevent performance throttling. Now on to method six, let's close background apps. Just go down to the bottom right hand side of your taskbar, click on our task icon tray and in here all the active apps for your PC will be displayed. Now go ahead and close out any and all apps you don't need open while playing Fortnite by right clicking on these applications and exit out of them. This will boost your FPS and free up system resources. Method seven is disable startup apps you can do that by heading into the settings. On the left side, go into apps and click on the startup section. Now, this will be the list of all the applications that open up when you boot your PC, with all of these causing Windows to load up longer than usual, and even affecting your performance in general. So what we're going to do is to disable each app that you don't need right when you turn on your PC. So Spotify, I don't need it, so I'll disable that and do the same for the rest of the apps that you don't need to open up when you boot your PC. Moving on to method 8 is changing your power plan. So press the Windows key and type Edit Power Plan. When this window opens, click on Change Advanced Power Settings. This will pop up and by default it will be on Balance, but you should set this to High Performance or Ultimate Performance in this drop-down. Choose High Performance. This uses more of your PC power and results in a boost in your FPS. Click Apply and OK. For method number 9, next, let's optimize some Windows settings to get more performance in our PC. Press the Windows key and search for settings. Once you're here, go all the way down to gaming, then over to Game Bar, and turn this thing off. Game Bar consumes a lot of memory in the background, and disabling it will help you increase your performance. But the thing is that it is not fully disabled. So, at the end of this video, I will show you how to completely disable it. Moving on, go back to the gaming section and enable game mode. Right beneath that, you'll find graphics. Simply go over to this, click on Change Default Graphics Settings, and enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for Windows games. Both of them will help you to reduce your input latency as well as increase the performance of your games. Now after that, go back to graphics. Right over here, click on the Browse button, and then go to the Install Location of your game. Once you're here, go over to Binaries, Win64, and in here you'll find win64shipping.exe. Click on it, and then click on Add. Now, for me, it's already added to my list. Go find Fortnite, click on it, go over to Options, and then click on High Performance. Then, finally, click on Save. Now, the last tip I have for you guys is to have your game installed on an SSD. And also make sure that you don't have low storage, because low storage can cause your computer to run slowly and lead to game crashes. Now, before the video ends, I will show you how to disable the Xbox Game Bar completely. Shout out to Lectron for finding out this optimization. So, if you want to get rid of it, run Windows PowerShell as an administrator, and then copy and paste the text from the description to permanently remove the Xbox Game Bar. If you're someone who uses the Xbox Game Bar to record clips for your game, please consider switching to OBS. 
it takes way fewer resources and won't drop your FPS. And that's basically it. Overall guys, that's how you fix game crashes in Fortnite in Chapter 5 Season 4. So if you want to optimize your PC for the best performance this season, don't forget to check out this video. Thank <laughs> you.